or then this 7.2 carat one, exact same ring, just in a smaller size in case it's more wearable for you, $60 or five monthly payments of $12. Okay, tell me, because I want to know all about this. Well, so th th this is this is like a little bit of a side story, but one day, I mean, this was a, basically, this was Elizabeth's favorite cut of stone. And she loved it because when she looked into it, this is, this is from her book. She said, when I look into it, the deep Asher cuts, which are so complete and so ravishing, are like steps that lead into eternity and beyond. And oh. this ring we've done with the exact same mapping. We used the Gemological Institutes. They had, you know, all, all of ex exact measurements. And wow. this is exactly like Elizabeth's diamond. Oh my gosh. And she just loved to be Gorgeous. able to look into it. And one day uh, after Elizabeth's sale at Christie's, Bulgari, the jewelry house, had bought like eight or 10 pieces and they were sort of touring them. Uh -huh. And they were in Los Angeles. And, you know, I had seen them. They were in a room upstairs at the store. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine came into town and I said, well, do you want to go see Elizabeth's jewelry? I mean, they're on display. You're not going to see them again. Right. It's very rare now. <laughs> and so we took them up, you know, we walked into the store. They knew me downstairs. Mm -hmm. So they just ushered me right up. Like, go, go ahead. You know where it is. Sure. I walk up into the, um, I walk up into the, uh, into the room. We're looking at the jewelry. This woman comes out from behind the wall and appears and starts telling me about the jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I just was looking at her and listening and wondering. She didn't know who she, you were. No, she had no idea. I don't know who she was either. <laughs> but uh, but so she starts telling me about the jewelry and, and she was telling me different things that weren't true. And then she finally went too far. And she said, and Elizabeth's favorite stone cut was the pear shape. And I said, no, it wasn't. It was the Asher cut. <laughs> the Asher I mean, cut. are you kidding me? There's no doubt that Elizabeth's favorite cut was the was Asher cut. One. Exactly. And oh, I'm telling you, she. if that was me, I would have wanted to crawl under the rug. Well, it know? was funny because, you know. Funny. But that just shows that you were the one who worked with her for more than 20 years. You knew her loves, you knew her likes and her dislikes, and you knew that she obviously loved the Asher cut. Interesting thing about an Asher cut, really some of the most famous diamonds in the world are Asher cut, because you know why? I think it, I'm gonna guess, but with the step cutting, you have to have the most flawless basic, most as perfect as can be diamond to do that step cutting because it's like looking through a big picture window. And I hers mean, was a D flawless. Oh my and goodness. And this is a, a CZ flawless. Oh, wow. <laughs> I tell you, this is exquisite. $140 for the large one. I, I wanted to show you, um, can we put the other size on so that, uh, jo um, excuse me, Annie has both sizes because that's what we need to see is if she can have both sizes of rings so we can see them uh, kind of in comparison. We're gonna go off to the phones oh, and great. say hi to Cynthia from Arizona. Hello, Cynthia, welcome to QVC on this Thursday afternoon. Please meet Tim. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Cynthia. Tell Tim and me why you called in today. Well, I um, chose the larger of the two rings. Good. And I, I feel it's just an iconic part of Elizabeth Taylor's life. That's right. Without question. Yeah, exactly. Is this She wore this ring every, every day. Yeah. And did you, right. is this your first piece in the Elizabeth Taylor collection? It is. Oh, it is. wow. What a perfect way to start. This is, <laughs> I agree with you. This is the perfect piece to start with. And uh, you will be blown away. Listen, wear it out and about. You know, oh, I will. <laughs> Uh, I, I, this is one of those where if you're trying to get a husband, he may think you're too big for his pocketbook. I don't know. But if you have a husband, he's going to be very proud to be able to have you with him and make everybody think that he bought this for you. Right, Cynthia? <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad you called. This is just a beautiful piece. Enjoy wearing it and enjoy just having that piece of history, really, from Elizabeth's yeah. life. Thank you so much, Mary Beth, and thank you, Tim. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Take care, Cynthia. 
Okay. Bye-bye mm -hmm. now. Bye-bye. And we have sizes 5 through 11. So you can get whatever size fits you best. And the other thing I was going to say was if we go back to kind of the auction, the auction had an estimated value. They thought this ring, the big one, the 33 carat, would sell for 2.5 to 3.5 million. And it sold for 8.8 .8 million. Do you know who, who bought it? Was that Bulgari who bought it? No, no, oh, no, 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 because was this wasn't curious. a Bulgari diamond. Yeah, uh, I'm just curious. It, you know I'm what? Gonna... I actually do know. Uh, uh -huh. It was. It went to the Sam, the president of Samsung's wife, oh, who's wow. Korean. They're not uh -huh. allowed to tell us oh, who, I see. Yeah. but I heard right. it. It's public. Something like so that. So yeah. she was trying to build an important, uh, is trying to build an important sure. jewelry collection. But I mean, Absolutely. I don't know that much about it, but I happen right. to know who who has that. That's just stone. interesting to me. But here's the, the other one. So. Annie, hold your hands together for a moment and let's just take a peek. So that gives you an idea of the difference between the 33 carat one at $140 and the 7.2 carat one at $60. I honestly could see a woman owning both and she might wear the big one for those special occasions, but she might wear the seven carat, I mean even seven carats to look like a diamond yeah. at an, in an Asher cut would totally. cost you tens of thousands of dollars. It would still probably, yes, yeah. it would be a lot. It would. I, I think just, I wanna say that make sure, because the, the big one mm -hmm. is so big, yeah. to probably order it a half a size or size down. Okay. Because you don't want it to flop. Well, It'll that's flop. True. And so I just think mm -hmm. it's important when people order it to know yeah. that, I mean, obviously you have to be able to get it get over, over your, your knuckle. Knuckles, yeah. So you have to make that judgment yourself, uh -huh. but just right. as a note. Okay. Or if you're between sizes, go down. Exactly. Uh, coming up, we still have the simulated sapphire.